He lost to Hillary Clinton in the popular vote by 2.8 million. He's haunted by that. So he needs, he's a needy little baby. What he needs as a president, though, is to unify the country. What he needs as a politician is to expand his base. Okay, if you want to be small-minded, he needs to expand his base as a politician. But as a president, he needs to expand. We're going to wait 1,361 days, and he's still going to be the moral midget that you saw in that stand in Harrisburg tonight. We have to put some things in context. When you look at President Trump and the, and the way pundits and the way people in the media talk about him and his candidacy, the people around him in the West Wing, his family, it's deplorable. And when you have that type of rhetoric and tone constantly beating at the, at the drum every single day, 24-7, that is not helping America. And when Paul, when you, listen, I did not like probably 98 to 99 percent of the things that President Obama did. But I would never call him Obama, and I would never call him a moral midget or a needy little baby, even if I thought the two things were true about him. So as you sit here with your platform and attack the president with these horrible sayings about him personally, and then say, well, Mr. President or Trump, you are doing the same thing, you have to have some type of honesty about how you're oh, talking about honesty, the president and how wrong. you are talking no, you are and wrong, how you want friend. him to talk about other people. We owe this president mm -hmm. some, a little bit more respect in how we talk about him because there's a lot of Americans out there who are suffering and who want to believe in him. And when we belittle him and belittle everything about him and his family, mm -hmm. his children, I his staff, his I'm not family. talking about you, but it's the tone well, yes, that you, you set and other people that come on this network and do this. That's the problem. Oh, and that's why he attacked the media. You respect the office, not the man. I respect the office. If he enters a room, I stand. If he signs a law, I obey. He is my president. But he is letting me down and the vast majority of Americans down.